All right. So at this point, we've gone over how to find sine, cosine, and tangent of the unit circle. Now we're going to talk about the reciprocal functions, secant, cosecant, and cotangent. So just to remind you that cosecant of some angle is actually going to be 1 over sine of that angle. In this case, with the unit circle, we knew sine was y, so it's going to be 1 over y. Secant of some angle, if you remember, was 1 over cosine, because it's the reciprocal of cosine. Cosine was x, therefore, for the unit circle, we're going to have 1 over x. And then, of course, cotangent of some angle, well, that would be 1 over tangent, because it's the reciprocal of tangent. This gives me x over y. So now, I can just simply ask you questions to give me the exact value of, I don't know, let's say, cosecant of, let's do, 210 degrees. Well, what this really means is, well, cosecant, I can, read, I can think of it as 1 over sine of 210 degrees. Well, at that point, we need to look at the unit circle. Uh, and figure out what is sine at 210 degrees. So sine at 210 degrees is going to be a 30, so that's going to be 1 over a negative 1 half. Well, this really means 1 divided by a negative 1 half, which simply gives me um, 1 times negative 2, which gives me negative 2. So cosecant of 210 degrees is negative 2. So I'm going to constantly write it like this, and then just do the math out like this to find my reciprocals. All right, so let's say what is cotangent of, I don't know, let's do um, pi over 6 and voila. Okay. So, All right, so we're going to do cotangent of pi over 6. Now, I have the unit circle memorized, but what's really great, what's really amazing about the brain is it kind of archives things you don't remember, so I have a unit circle just to remind myself. But cotangent of pi over 6 is really 1 over tangent of pi over 6. There is zero shame, I'm telling you, to reference the unit circle. Um, I am going to ask you to memorize it, uh, but with y'all being virtual students, there's no way I can check that. All right, so this really means 1 over, well, tangent of pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 3. This really means 1 divided by the square root of 3 over 3, which gives me 1 times 3 over the square root of 3. I'm going to rationalize this denominator. I'm going to do my work up here. 3 over the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 over the square root of 3. This gives me, what did I do wrong? Nothing. 3 square root 3 over 3 is 9. My 3's cancel, square root of 3. So the answer to cotangent of pi over 6 is square root of 3. So you just go through this process for all the different reciprocals. You need to know your x, your y's. Of course, you need to know your sine, cosines, and tangents. Um, you can use a handy-dandy little unit circle while we're doing this. Um, eventually, you'll get it memorized because we'll do it so much. Um, that's the reciprocals for the unit circle. Not terribly bad. Hi, I'm Mr. Buzzer, and these videos are supplemental instruction for my students. If you found the video enjoyable, make sure you click the like button and click subscribe, as well as the bell for notifications to receive future videos on high school mathematics.